This is amazing. Now we have LinkedIn post creator using auto gen rack. In this, when we add a PDF file to the retrieve user proxy agent, it will be automatically converted to embeddings and stored in Chroma DB. Next, the LinkedIn post creator agent will use the context of the uploaded file and then create a LinkedIn post. We also going to add a user interface to those agents. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about LinkedIn Post Creator Agent. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create these agents, adding that to LinkedIn and create a user interface like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the first step, pip install PyAutogen Retrieve Chat and Chroma DB and then click enter. Next, export Autogen use docker equals false and click enter because I'm not using any docker but if you're using any docker in your local machine then you can set that to true. Next export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First import autogen next chroma db assistant agent and then retrieve user proxy agent. Next we are defining the config list where we define our model name Next, LM config proxy. We set the temperature and the config list. Now we are going to create assistant. This AA assistant we will pass the LM config, the system message, your helpful assistant, and providing a name. This is a LinkedIn post creator assistant. Next, retrieve user proxy agent. There we provide the name as user, human input never, maximum auto reply 10, then the retrieve config. We are providing the document path. I am providing the autogen.pdf file. This is the autogen.pdf file. It's in the same folder. It's totally 43 pages. So we are going to create a LinkedIn post based on this PDF. Next, we are mentioning Chroma DB. That's where we store our embeddings. This will automatically convert the PDF into embeddings and then store it in Chroma DB. Next, we are giving a user question. That is to compose a short LinkedIn post showcasing how Autogen is revolutionizing the future of generative AI through the collaboration of various agents. Craft an introduction, main body, and a compelling conclusion. Encourage readers to share the post. Keep the post under 500 words. You can modify this prompt as per your requirement. Even if you want to make this as a blog post, you can change, modify things accordingly here. Now user.initiateChat assistant and the problem is the user question. That's it, only few lines of code. So first we set up the configuration here, then we create the main assistant who is going to create the LinkedIn post. Then we have the user proxy agent to convert the PDF into embeddings and use that as context when generating the LinkedIn post. So this user will send requests to the assistant with the context. And finally, we're initiating the chat and now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter trying to create collection next it's dividing those documents and adding it to the vector database now the user proxy with the context you can see the context is it's asking the linkedin post creator assistant to compose a short linkedin post based on the context provided here and finally here is the linkedin post given by the assistant exciting news for the frontiers of generative ai so we can just copy this. I'm going to copy this. Writing new article in LinkedIn. That's where you enter this article. Now you can actually put this in the title. Now LinkedIn has its own created design by Microsoft Designer and it is also AI. So this can automatically generate image using our content. So I'm going to choose this design and you can see it's loading here. Autogen changing the game in generative AI. Now. The whole article is generated by AI and it's ready to publish. Just by providing one PDF, you are able to create an article like this and post it in LinkedIn. Now we're going to see how we can convert this code into a user interface using Gradio. So pip install Gradio in your terminal. Now I have modified this code a little bit. I imported Gradio as GR. Then I added all the configuration, the agent, the user proxy, everything within a function called autogen chat. Then I'm passing that function 
to gr.interface function name as this. So in this, I'm going to add two text box, one to enter the path of the PDF and the next one to enter the topic you want to cover from that PDF. Finally, you're going to get the output in the text box and we are launching the interface. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python UI.py and then click enter. Now you get a URL like this. I'm going to click this URL and here is the interface. This is the PDF which I'm going to use from archive. So I'm pasting that here and the topic which I want to cover is self-rewarding language models and then click submit. Now it's processing the request. You can see what's happening in the backend. So you can see the self-rewarding PDF from the URL directly getting ingested into Chroma DB. The user is asking the assistant with the context to create a LinkedIn post. And finally, in the terminal, I can see the output in the same way, even in the user interface, you can see the output here. So even you don't need to go to the terminal and copy it, you can directly copy the content from this interface and then paste it in LinkedIn as before. As simple as that. Now you are able to create LinkedIn post or Twitter post or Facebook article just by entering a PDF URL. I'm really excited about this. You can even extend this further by adding more agents to this code. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.